The fastener situation on the Core 1 is a little bit weird. Obviously we had the rivets for the outer panels, that kind of makes sense. But then as we start to disassemble more, there is a combination of hex head screws and Torx screws. My guess here is that it's one of three options. Either some sort of certification safety reason, maybe some sort of serviceability where hex is for screws you should be dealing with and Torx is for ones you shouldn't. And maybe the third option is that they can just sustain a little bit more torque before being damaged. I don't know, it's not something I've tested. I'll ask the Prusa team and see if they have a good answer for me. Either way, all the tools that you would need to remove these screws are included, so I think that's quite good. The frame is one of the key areas that makes this machine quite different to how others are constructed, and therefore it provided a key point of interest for me when disassembling. So let's take a look at how they've done it. There are two different size pieces, a short piece, and that makes the perimeter around the top and bottom, and then the longer pieces, which go from bottom to top. They're manufactured from 1mm thick steel and powder coated in the classic Prusa sparkly black. The way they assemble together is quite clever. You have these little folded tabs at the end of each of the pieces, and in those tabs is a little boss to allow for a good strong thread. You pass the screw through one part, into the thread, tighten it down, and that's those two pieces joined. The reason I think this is particularly clever is not only are all the joints completely flush, the bends in the sheet metal add to its rigidity quite significantly, especially when assembled together into their final frame shape. All the screws are identical and you only need three screws per joint. Overall, a very efficient design for both manufacture and assembly.